Oprah Winfrey was born into poverty to a teenage single mother who couldn't look after her so she was sent to live with her grandmother and was so poor she wore dresses made out of potato sacks and other children made fun of her. From nine years old she was being molested by several men and by 13 years of age she was promiscuous. She became pregnant at 14, her son then tragically died. The real Trudy Chase underwent years of therapy and most of that therapy was videotaped because Trudy says that she wanted others to someday be able to understand that they are not alone in their abuse and that is why we are doing this show. I had interviewed Trudy Chase in Baltimore and there she had made a tremendous impact on me but it was at a time when I had not yet admitted to being sexually abused myself. Opera dreamed of being an interviewer. Through her childhood she would even be found in the garden interviewing the crows that would sit on the fence. When she entered media she was flatly told you'll never make it in this business. Opera was fired from her first TV job for getting upset and crying while reading the news. Being fired from her news reading media job was the best thing that ever happened to Opera Winfrey. They gave her a small job in a small station interviewing people and she had found what she loved. She had found her passion. Opera's emotion turned into empathy. Opera Winfrey created the intimate confessional TV that reached all of our hearts. She redefined an entire industry. She gave communities that had previously been voiceless access to TV. I had, to st I asked, I had asked them to stop tape. It was still unusual for people to be provocative about their own life stories and to be truthful and open. It was the beginning of a different kind of reality television. Opera showed us that our connectedness and common struggle is bigger than hate. By sharing her demons, she allowed us to say, you know what, I feel your pain, I've been there too, and guess what, me too. The Opera Winfrey Show became the highest rating TV show in American history. By 30 years of age, she was a millionaire. By 40, she was a billionaire. And she went on to become one of the most influential women in the world. Who are your heroes? Who inspires you to be the best that you can be? See you next week.